Hey everybody, my name is Lee. I'm a technical specialist for Autodesk and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create a distribution of Wi-Fi signals across a piece of geometry, in this case a state that might be used for say an ad for distribution of wireless coverage over a particular area. So this involves using the map helper for visibility. It uses two different uh, MASH networks and it's really simple to set up. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with our standard cube here. I've assigned a, a somewhat appropriate color to the cube that might represent a particular wireless carrier. It's a little obnoxious, but it shows up really well. And I'm just going to start off with our basic MASH network setup. So of course we get our distribution of 10 objects. We're going to go ahead and make this a solid line because we're going to use the visibility node to create the dashes that we're going to need. So I'm going to go create a visibility node. I'm going to use the map strength to create that dashed line. Obviously if you, you can kind of visualize what this is going to do by changing the random strength or even the step strength, but we want to more uh, create a more regular pattern across the length of this. So I'll click on my strength map map button. I'm going to create a ramp and just like that we can go in and let's create a U ramp because that's going to be that direction I happen to know that already and you can see as I drag the white back and forth we can see this take place now if I turn this interpolation to none we'll get that hard line that we need but the problem is the control that we need um, to drive this back and forth it would be kind of tricky to have to animate all of these handles over and over again so let's start off by creating the actual uh, dashed line and you can see just by creating one little block here. I've already created that and as I just move my cursor across and keep creating these alternating black and white points we get the distribution or the little dashed line that we want. Now like I said it's a little bit tricky uh, or it would be pretty difficult to go in and animate those back and forth so luckily built into the uh, node itself and the strength map section is this map helper. So if I right mouse button click in this section here and click on create it creates this piece of geometry already mapped with that texture directly in the viewport. And I can scale this up if I want I can scale it in different directions and you can see that map continues to affect the visibility of that dashed line. So check this out this is really cool. All I have to do from here to repeat this is to create a replicator. And the replicator is by default going to send this offset off into the Z direction. You can look at the position here and see that it's affecting it in the negative Z. I'm going to set that to zero and I'm going to go down to the rotation section. Uh, the replicator is really cool and I'm going to use this rotate replicants in Y. I'm going to set that to 90 degrees and then I'm going to go up to the top and increase the number of replicants till I get the solid line that I want. Now as I move my dashed line back and forth I get that traveling signal strength that I need and that is how we create our Wi-Fi signal. Now how do we get it spread across the geometry that we want, in our case the state that we wanted to represent? Well if I open up uh, my display layers and I look at my display layer node you can see number one I've got a problem this is way too big to be distributed along the state and I could probably increase the size of my state but for let's say for some reason I can't do that I can go into my MASH network and make some alterations. Well first off let's distribute it across the state uh, and that would be the first step. So I'm going to select my node or my repro mesh that is uh, the node that I want to spread across the geometry and I'll create another mesh network. So here I'm just creating a network out of the result of another network. So I'm going to go into my mesh 2 section and we'll go to the distribution for that. You can see we've got a number of points just like we did in the first uh, portion and I'm going to reduce that distance. We don't really need to worry about that and I'm just going to go in and select mesh as my distribution method and in this case instead of just using my input mesh I'm going to use my verts here. This is a quick select set that I created. I'm going to middle mouse button drag and drop that into my selection set and just like that all of my wireless signal strengths are going to get spread around those little points. Now in this case I happen to know that there's 17 points that make up that network uh, or make up that selection set. You can expand that out and count those down if you want. But in this case what I want to do next is make sure that they're the right size for, uh, for this kind of ratio of my geometry and the signal strength that I want to create. So I'm just going to go in and create an offset. 
and I'm going to overwrite my node. Now, right by the by default, it's going to set up that all to zero, so it's going to make everything disappear. So first off, I'm going to try out maybe 0.1 as a size, and that might be a eh, it's pretty close. Let's try 0.7 or 0.07 rather. Sorry, let's try 0.07. That's a little bit better. And then I'm not going to worry about the position. I'm not going to overwrite that. So we're going to let the mash network take over for that. And then I'm going to use the rotation just to rotate it around the x direction to put it into, into position. So let's set that to 90 degrees. And now we get our Wi-Fi network covering the state the way we need. The problem is I want this to be offset. I want it to float over the geometry just a little bit. So that's easy enough to remedy. I don't want to change the values of this of what I've created here so I'm just going to create another offset node and use this one for the position and now this gives me separate control I can just move that uh, Z direction out the way or uh, to the location that I want and if I want I could even offset the rotation again let's try maybe just a little bit in the X direction so maybe we want to tilt this up just a tiny bit so maybe we can get a camera perspective or do something fun with uh, uh, the camera and have it point the direction we want from here the great thing is I've created this distribution and I still have control for the animation just with that single map network that we created before so all of this cascades through and works really well in order to distribute that particular effect across the geometry that I want. So hope that was useful for everybody and thanks for watching.